Okay. Happy opening day, everybody. Jethawks Nation is the Jethawks return for their 16th season on April 7th, opening night against High Desert. And our new skipper, the man who's going to lead our troops this year, is Tom Spencer. Tom, first of all, welcome to Lancaster. And I'm just kind of curious your uh, impressions of your office and new working conditions now that you're here. Well, it's exciting to be here and out of spring training and, uh, you know, with opening day just, uh, just right around the corner. Uh, we're, we're excited about it. It's not my first trip to Lancaster. I've I, I visited the ballpark as a roving instructor working for another organization a few years back. So um, I, I was looking forward to coming here because I remember it as a, as a special place. You know, it's interesting. On paper, certainly everybody reads a Baseball America prospect book. There are about five or six young men that they think have very bright futures. But I guess the flip, that's, it's great to have the weaponry. But then the other thing is, hey, there's going to be some expectations about these 2011 Jet Hawks. Well, one thing I've been making, made aware of that, that we do have some of the top prospects in the Houston organization here, so they're expecting big things out of those players, and obviously big things out of me is the the one leading those players and teaching. So uh, feel a little bit of pressure there, but uh, I, I guess if I had to sum the team up in one word, it would be speed because uh, uh, we do, I think, in, in comparison to other ball clubs, have have a little bit more speed, and it's it's, it's a tool that performs for you both offensively and defensively, so uh, we feel like we have an advantage with, uh, uh, and hopefully we're going to win some ball games with our legs. Skipper, you made an interesting point during the media day with the Jetox the other day, which was that uh, you have to be careful not to overmanage, and I think it's a good chance with you in town to get to introduce you to the fans like this to explain. A lot of fans come to this ballpark, Tom, and they think they're watching another version of the Dodgers and the Angels, our other local teams here. But there, you have a development agenda with certain players. I know sometimes somebody's getting beat around, and he, he and they, why didn't he change pitchers or whatever. Explain how you balance development with winning. Well, it, it's a tough it's a tough chore, but. Uh, uh, having been in higher ball for for quite a few years, you know when you get late in the ball games, uh, the manager's influence in the ball game uh, becomes a little more um, obvious, and and I have to watch myself to 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 leave players in a little bit longer to let them figure some things out, uh, uh, to try to avoid some left on left matchups as far as a pitcher, you know, put them out there for two or three innings and see what they can do. Uh, I think uh, uh, over the years we as as managers turn players into platoon players as opposed uh, uh, to those guys not having the ability. Uh, when we pinch hit for that lefty against a left-hand pitcher, uh, uh, that's why he doesn't hit left-hand pitchers. If you leave him in there as a youngster and let him, let him battle and figure things out, uh, you have uh, some better players down the road. That's for sure. And as I told you, 32 players in this league, including, you know, it's interesting, uh, Skipper, Madison Bumgarner, the one sore thumb of his career. He pitched here with a ERA of .25 in early May of 2009, gave up seven earned runs in two and a third innings. Of course, he became the youngest guy to win a World Series game last year. But it's, a, it's an interesting level of play. And some of, uh, Skipper, I think some of our neighbors don't understand how good the level of play here, here is because in the case of the Houston Astros already, two of our guys who were with us two years ago with the Major League Club with Jason Castro and Fernando Abado. We almost got... J.B. Shuck up there as a third. So, well, yeah, this, this league has a reputation for turning out players, major league players, uh, in rapid fashion. So uh, I think our players see the success of players that have played here in the past and, and know it's a challenge to them to apply themselves so that they can progress up the line. And, uh, you know, if, if, if they work hard and uh, are successful, uh, you know, they have the same opportunity as those players before them. Tom Spencer, thanks so much for the visit. Welcome to the Cal League, and we look forward to visiting with you all year during what hopefully is going to be a very memorable season for the Lancaster Jetox. Thank you very much. Thanks, Skipper. All Appreciate right. it.